Hi, my name is Mark Coleman. I'm the Mindfulness Ambassador for Prana. I've been meeting with Prana's top athletes to understand their inside game. In this session with Dean Potter, we'll be talking about death. Because what I do is so dangerous, I think about death a lot. Fuck. I imagine it's very close sitting on your shoulder as you're uh, highlining, free soloing, base jumping. And I'm curious what your relationship is to to death since you're so intimate with the possibility of that when you're doing a lot of your a lot of your work. It's not as if I'm going around like I'm not a dark person, I'm not thinking about death all the time, but it is there for me. But I really believe it's no different than any other person out there that like every day, every moment our lives are at stake. Um, with me it's very easy to see I fall off a cliff and would die. But you know, life and death is, is right there for all of us. It's the most common thing um, we all share. There's an expression, meditation is a preparation for death. You're letting go to what you know, to the past, and just meeting what's right here. And so it sounds like for you, the climbing that you do is a way of making that foreground or really ever present. Would you say that? Yeah, you said it better than I would. <laughs> I noticed that with the idea of death being so close, I live life as well as I can, to be as good of a person as I can, to treat the people around me with as much love as I can pour in to them and have good thoughts and breathe deeply. It's interesting you say that because I know for a lot of people, they would say, oh, to think about death or reflect on death is morbid, but what you're saying reminds me of what people I've heard talking about near-death experiences where the, the, what comes out of that is this desire to live life to the fullest. And so it's quite the opposite of morbidity. It's actually a really life-enhancing. It has been a positive force on me, the danger aspect of what I do. Yeah, it's a beautiful paradox. Yeah. 